Hi, this is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast or webcast or something like that. Talking about Dropbox, just a quick Dropbox tip I've been thinking about, and I had done a few uh, tutorials along these lines, doing two-minute tips, two-minute tips so that you don't have to make too much of a commitment, nor do I, but I can still bring you something very valuable in two minutes or less. And that's what today's tip is going to be. It's a Dropbox tip. It's a two-minute tip, and this is something I do when I use it. That's how I get a lot of the ideas is stuff that I do that I find useful, and, and then I tell you about it. So when using Dropbox, a lot of times I share QuickBooks files, for example, with people, and one of the issues we can run into is getting conflicting copies. If I'm in the file and you go into the file on your computer in your Dropbox folder, as soon as we log out, we get conflicting copies. So the question is, how do we prevent that? Very simple answer. Just come in here in the folder, and anywhere in the white space, if you've got files in the folder, don't click on a file. Click on the white space. Just right-click it, and you'll see options here. You come to New, and you'll see Text Document. And then when you click on text document, it's going to create a new text document, and it's going, as you can see, it's highlighted, meaning it's waiting, meaning that it's waiting for me to rename it. So I put Seth working right there. Within a second or two on the web, it will sync up. Here's the same Dropbox folder on the web. And you'll see as quickly as I refresh the page, it's there, which means anybody else who's sharing this folder on their computers is going to have this in a second. That lets people know I'm in the QuickBooks file, so it's their clue not to go in. And if I really want to, I can open up the text file, and I can put notes in there. If that's sort of the system I've uh, arranged with people, I can you know, put my phone number in there so people know how to call me if they want to tell me that they need to get into the file, they need me to get out, whatever the case is. But that's your two-minute QuickBooks, uh, two QuickBooks tip, two-minute drive. Dropbox tip today on how to uh, arrange the sharing of files such that you don't get conflicting copies. As always, my email address is seth at nerdenterprises.com. If you have any questions at all or would like additional training, feel free to email me seth at nerdenterprises.com or call me 866-945-8070 is the Magic Nerd Hotline. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you on the web.